today i'm going to do an activity using bioshock so in this activity include uh, five exercises so the first question is actually what is bioshock bioshock is a network packet analyzer a network packet analyzer will try to capture network packets and tries to display the packet data as detail as possible as a bioshock so why the people use bioshock the people use this bioshock network administrators use it to troubleshoot network problems and uh, network security engineers use it to examine security problems and uh, QA engineers uh, used to verify network applications and uh, people use this Wireshark to developers use it to debug protocol implementations and uh, people use it to learn network protocol internals so the next question is uh, what are the features that Wireshark provides so it provide uh, available for unix and windows and uh, capture live packets data from a network interface and create various statistics search for packets on uh, many criteria like that so let's move to first exercise exercise one so we need to open it Okay. So, uh, first question is write write a filter to get HTTP request of the given log. Okay, I'm going to type HTTP. Okay, these are HTTP request. The second question is what is the web server name with IP with the IP 192.248.16176 Okay Let's see the web server name In here Just right click and follow an HTTP stream Not here. So, HTTP. Okay. This is a request to go to follow HTTP stream. Yes. This is the name. This is the name for uh, web server name with the IP. One nine two. This is the name. Okay. The next question is, uh, what is the header checksum of the web request to this server? Uh, web request. HTTP. The request. We need to uh, find header checksum. Here, yeah. yes, internal protocol version uh, under play in here header checksum. This is the header checksum, and the next question is this is the header checksum value and details. The next question is was the request to obtain the if I can dot I see you successful justify your answer okay let's see this in here you can see this uh, five icon dot I see you click it and go to follow and TCP stream you can see here 404 not found 
this the request requested URL fyicon.ico was not found on this server then uh, this question asks justify that you answer the reason is the 404 not found that's the reason for that question the next question is what is the URI of the Unilogo GIF what is the URI we have to type here HTTP and uh, please this is the pull request URI http www.webmail.cmb.ac.lt this is the answer for the last question now I'm going to move to second exercise okay the second exercise the first question this is the logo log of some HTTP and other transaction and it contains web login try to find the following components server name URL login name password so let's see how to find these uh, details in here uh, first uh, we need to type HTTP okay I'm going to right click it. Uh, no, we don't need to right click. You can see it in here also. Yes, the host www.webmail.cmb.ac.lk. That's the answer for first question. So, our name, URL. This is the answer. So, uh, the second question login name and password the login name and password is we can find in here also HTML UR encode under in that section the login name is AJA and the password MIS1104 and you can see it in here cookie section the password uh, name and this is the name login name okay that's the second exercise now I'm go going to move to a fourth question now the fourth third question okay mm. this third question is uh, write filters to the following requirements so we need to find we need to type this find this http dns and icmp traffic so this is the way to these find these details using here yeah, http or dns or ic and there is no any details include this activity no in HTTP DNS and ICMP sometimes you can think um, is a wrong uh, request no actually is correct you can see there is no any HTTP request see uh, there is no any DNS request uh, there is no any ICMP request this is the way to find all things together ok clear it and uh, present again the second question is uh, to display HTTP packets with the source or destination IP address equal to some IP okay let's see how to do that part uh, I'm going to use uh, says a uh, 
so also destination IP address equal to some IP you can use a name source or destination IP address equal to some IP this is the way to do it IP dot XRC and uh, double equal we're going to use uh, 192 dot uh, 168 dot 0 dot 0 and uh, uh, I'm going to use uh, IP dot destination dot dest equal 192 192 dot uh, 168 dot and dot 1 okay is also no any HTTP packets we have to clear it and press enter and uh, to display third one to display packets with source port equal to 43714 and destination port equal to 53 okay now we need to find it let's see tcp dot port dot port uh, double equal is uh, four three oh four three seven one four four three seven one four oh, oh. tzb dot port uh, double equal I'm going to use eight zero one there is no any request and if you 53 is also not here this is a way to do this request now the second uh, last question to display packet with tcp sim flag okay we need to find tcp request so this is the way to tcp tcp sin request uh tcp flags flags dot swim yes you can see these thing tcp sin 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 act act pin act you know tcp uh, transport layer protocol so layer 4 you know that, that's the method how to do this uh, there is two parties uh, client and uh, server so first kind of client send a uh, uh, sim request and after server send sin and act request to get that means piggyback in method so after that client also so send again uh, act so now I'm going to move to the fourth question yes the fourth question is uh, it has captured some traffic logging into the admin panel find the password for admin it's very easy first you have to type http okay in here Mm. not not this one this is a, for the first question it says the question is the admin panel you have to go to this admin then hypertransfer hypertext transfer protocol you can see cookie password and a username in this section this is the username and this is the password and the fourth question the last exercise 5 so 
the exercise 5 the network traffic it says the network traffic capture the in the file attack trace PCAP relays to a realistic automated malware attack also the following question regarding to the above incident this is the at attack uh, packet so this is the start point this is the end point Earlier I said that, that seen uh, how to do that uh, connection client server. So the first question is of uh, which system IP address example are involved. This is the two system source and destination. The answer is uh, 98.114.204. 102 and 192.150.11.11 uh, that is the first answer the second question is how long it takes to perform the attack then how long that is the last time we need to go to the last section and uh, here in time you can see 16.219 that's the uh, second question answer the third question capture duration so the second question answer also capture duration the same as uh, time 16.219 this is the answer for the for second and third question the fourth question is start time and the fifth question is end time the start time means we have to go to first section first point in here we have to go to frame in here this is the start time 8 5 8 and 2 8 and uh, in, 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 uh, end time here was the last end point in here 8 58 uh, 44 28 to 44 that's the time duration this is the end time you can see this is the end time this is the 28 and uh, 44 okay the number of packets the frame number number of packet 348 300, 348 packets so the number of packet the fixed question number of packets and uh, 348 packets so average packet size the average packet size is uh, actually uh, 40 bit uh, 40 bytes this is the uh, this is the end of this activity i hope you enjoy this activity and uh, please like and uh, share and comment and uh, please subscribe my channel okay Thank you.